Hello Leo, welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your weekly reading for the week of April 8th through April 14th. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled, but as always, I will shuffle live. And during meditation, Spirit gave me three different images. A cup of coffee, a plug, and um, a canoe. Uh, the canoe was still on shore, about to head out. Three different energies came through. I feel like it all is kind of simultaneously connected to one individual or just as a, as a collective. But the cup of coffee, the words that came through for that is um like to be alert but the energy that came through was confusion the plug the word that came through for that was to connect and the energy that came through was like like a spark like oh yeah that you know that kind of energy and then the canoe to me, the words that came through were a journey beyond with balance. And the energy that came through was that of maybe reluctance or maybe unsure or maybe just ambivalent. We have courageous. May each breaking way build your courage. Yeah. And that's literally, that's, that's what I got with, with your reading. The fact that maybe you're not aware of something, right? Maybe, maybe you're not aware of something. However, maybe in the back of your mind, there's something there and it's kind of stirring and they feel like one day you're just going to wake up and, okay, and connect to it. And I feel like right now, the emotions that you have is that of um, like unsure. Maybe you're just unsure of what it is. Maybe you're reluctant to, to travel on to this new journey that no, that's a little outrageous. You guys, come on. Okay. They want me to take it. I don't I don't know what to say. They want me to take it, therefore I will take it. Literally these two cards came out in um in Aries. Not in this particular position, but still. And I shuffled really well before before the cards, but what can I say? Um, Aries also got death, not in this deck. They got it in a, an Oracle card. Interesting. I don't know if you have Aries in your chart somewhere. Let's take a look at these cards. Holy smokes. Okay. What I'm getting here is that with the six of pentacles, I feel like where you are, you might be very balanced. Whatever situation you're in, I feel like you, you're you very balanced. It's it, Whether it's work or relationship, I feel like this really has to do with a work situation. I feel like it's it's pretty steady maybe it's just like a steady flow of income but this right here is your overall energy and yes it's it's like i have i am getting the same feeling with these two cards the 4 of wands should be like this but i feel like you're like this 
and not because things are bad. I think it's just because you're there's something that's unsure, unsteady. And because water connects with emotions, I feel like even though a work situation might be balanced, emotionally you might not be connected to it. I, I feel like you want some more fun in your life, but I feel like you are afraid of walking away from something steady. That's what I'm seeing here. And I feel with this particular seven of wands is that you're defensive. You're defensive about, or, or maybe not so much defensive, but maybe on the fence about both situation. Maybe you're walking the line here with this, with this uh, cricket. I think it's a cricket or a grasshopper. I'm not really sure. But the point is, is that I feel like you're walking the line. I feel like you're like, oh, and this is like it's balance beam, right? It's like, oh, no, like that little thing that keeps them balanced. That's what I'm seeing here. I feel like you're wanting to be creative, wanting to do something that not necessarily, not everybody wants to do things that are creative, but it, it, sparks you right sparks with the um with the plug and then with the hermit i feel like you're looking inward and you're like, all right contemplating right maybe this is the that confusion energy that was coming through and maybe you're just not completely awake yet to this possibility because you're looking down that's what i'm seeing here with this death card, I'm seeing that something in you is already, you're already letting something go, is what I'm seeing. And I feel like it's slowly dying so that you're able to begin something new, is what I'm seeing with this particular death card. I don't feel like it's already happened. I feel like you're in the process of doing it. And then with this, Five of Swords, I think right now you're still a lot in your head. And literally what I said to, to Aries, if you have Aries in your chart, I would consider um, looking or listening to that particular reading. Um, because I feel like you are communicating it to the universe, but I also feel like you're communicating it to yourself. I didn't get this energy with the with Aries, but for you, what I'm I'm almost seeing like the three of wands energy here, like you're ready to go. But and that's funny, we have three here. I didn't notice that until just now. Um, but I feel like you're going to be ready. I don't feel like you're ready just yet. I feel like you're still in the thought process, and I feel like. You know you're sitting on top of like an award-winning idea. Something that's going to bring you hap the, the happiness and the joy. But I feel like you might be balancing these two things for a while. Um, for instance, I feel like, I feel like, if you're doing a side project or a side hustle or whatever it is, maybe it's a podcast, maybe it's just a, an Amazon online business. I don't know. I don't know what it is you do. Maybe you're consulting people on the side. I feel like you're going to stay with whatever it is you're doing right now that, that brings you in this financial balance and you start doing it to the side for a little bit until it gains momentum. I'm also seeing like the world here and uh, the Wheel of Fortune once it, and the Chariot. So once things start picking up, I feel like that's when you're going to break free here. But right now, this is the energy that you're at. You need to go through this process, all right? I feel like it. you're here, here, and here, all right? Like, I feel like you fluctuate between these two things right here. Like overall, I feel like you're right here. And I feel like you're trying to 
get that courage to move forward. But as I mentioned with the um, imagery that spirit showed me, I felt like you're still reluctant. We're going to get some advice here. No, they don't want me to do this one just yet. They want me to do this first. This one's calling out to me, so I'm going to do this one. A rebirth is assured. <laughs> oh, funny. Okay. A rebirth is assured. And number five, which is death. Oh, five, which is um, change. Sorry. And then we have five here, also change. Just gonna point out that we have four, five, six, seven. Six of cups. That's good. Something that makes you happy. Something that makes you feel, again, like energized like oh like the cup of coffee energized and look it looks like you're having a cup of coffee look it oh. and you see it yeah you're right there see it yeah I love this and judgment All right, with the judgment card here, I'm seeing the fact that you have to release some preset ideas that you might have about these two things, about, you know, the thing that brings you the stability. Get a different perspective. See this bad is upside down. Be more in the Six of Cups energy, that happy, youthful, playful energy. Because with the judgment cards that you might be a little too harsh on, on yourself, on what you're capable of. And in the amount of time you're able to make it happen. Whatever that looks like for you. Paradox. <laughs> Get out of that paradox. Get out of that paradox. Break free of it. Break free of it. Give yourself, and look, look at the star. Break free of... Judgment. Look at the bird looking down to judgment. Look up to the star. They want which this one? No, this one. Relationship one? Okay. I just do what they tell me. Relationship one. They want me to do this one. This one? Okay. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This I did not pull this particular deck with Aries, but something very similar came up in the Aries um, reading. It was about clearly communicating to the universe, which I did say here, clearly communicate with the universe, but at the same time, um, I was also getting the Three of Wands uh, energy. I know it's the Page of Swords. I'm completely aware of that. But I was getting the Three of Wands energy. And 
with the canoe in, in the uh, imagery that Spirit showed me in my mind's eye, it was about a journey. Even when you go through this whole process, right, and then you are ready, you still need to be very clear. I guess Spirit wanted me to touch base on that clarity yet again. Be very clear about your communication with, um, with the universe. What is it you want? When do you want it? How, when, who, details, 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 they all matter, all of them, okay? All of those matter. They want me to do one more card. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. We got two cards. Stuck in mud in ghost lands. Okay. The stuck in mud, I'm seeing this uh, six of pentacles. You're stuck in that particular um, mindset, right? You're stuck in, I have to do this nine to five, blah, blah, blah. This kind of, this kind of mindset, which we said with judgment, let go of preconceived notions, right? preconceived ideas of what you think it should be or how or whatever. This. With Ghostlands, the energy that I'm getting with this Ghostlands is that of the past. You may have, I feel like your insecurities or your a reluctancy to leave this particular situation and that canoe. What I'm getting here is the fact that you might have tried something in the past, very similar, and it didn't go according to plan. Therefore, you're reluctant. That's what I'm actually seeing with this particular ghost lands. And maybe you are of a certain age and maybe you think that it's too late for you to do something at, at this, you know, at this stage of the game. Release those ideas. Release these ideas. If you think you're too old or it's too late in the game or you don't have the capability or whatever, let go. Don't get stuck in those ideas. Don't. You're capable of moving forward. 24 is 6. You have to find your balance, period. By the way, a canoe requires a lot of balance, right? So yes, it might feel unsteady at first. Just like when you get into a canoe, you have to find your balance and then you have to you know, once you find your balance, you know, you're able to row and then you can go faster and faster and faster. Nothing in life is going to be easy. Surfing isn't easy. You have to find your balance within the waves, period. All right, my darling ones, this was your reading, my darling Leos. I hope you found something in here to connect with. If you did, please leave a comment. Uh, I am trying out the videos just like as suggested, uh, suggested in the um, in the poll that I posed, whether you want just audio or video with the audio. So I'm trying the video out. Tell me how you like it. I would greatly appreciate uh, some feedback so that I'm able to improve and enhance and show, um, uh, try to move forward and I'm able to, to get the information out to more and more people. All right, my darlings, until we meet again, have a great week. Bye.